In the second question, we are required to find the side facing the angle, that is y. So let us write down our formula first, a square equal to b square plus c square minus 2a, 2bc cos a, alright? Then we apply the parameters we have here. We are looking for y, so what comes here? Equal to 5 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 into 5 and 3 cos 180 minus 102. Now the reason is because 102 is obtuse. It has exceeded 90 degrees, therefore has entered the second quadrant. And in the second quadrant, um, cos is always a negative. So we are going to be using the supplement of the angle 102 so that we'll change this guy into a negative value. You can check my previous video on the derivation of cosine rule for more explanation on why I am subtracting 102 from 180, all right? So, but whenever you have an angle here that is bigger than um, 90 degrees, observe what I will do with it. That is what you always do with it. So, I'll have y square equal to, this is 25, plus 9 minus 5 times 3, 15 times 2, here is 30, and then I'll have minus cos 78. So, I added negative because cosine is negative on the second quadrant. Then let's continue. I will have y squared equal to add here. I will have 34 minus 30 times. Let's get the value of cos 78. This will give me minus 0 0.338737792. Then multiply it with negative 30. I will have 34 plus 10.8. 1621361. You know that negative multiply negative will give us positive. Then we add the both of them. I will have y squared to be equal to 44.16213761. Take the square root of the both sides to eliminate the square here. Therefore, y will be equal to square root of this will give me 6.6454594. Let us approximate to one decimal place. 6.6 cm, one decimal place. Remember, we are not told to which decimal place we are approximating to. So whatever decision you have taken, you must define it, must let us know. Okay.